welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Adamu Plays Timber and Stone. And a goblin has been spotted. Let's see. Oh, there's one up here. Spotted by our famed archer, Ellie. Ooh, okay. Let's see how she does. Oh, my God. All right, she might... Okay, she didn't die. <laughs> that was close. She almost died. Let's gather them resources. So... How are things going with everybody? I'm doing good. Um, doing fantastic. Uh, yep. Still building this tower here. It's been a couple days since I played the last stream. I've uh, had a new job and I've been, this last week, they've been training me at it. I'm, well, not really the whole week, just three days. But I'm still training and I've been getting up get up early and go into work at 7 which is way earlier than what I'm used to my last job I didn't have to go in till like like uh, well later than later than that and so I've had to adjust my sleep schedule some but uh, which has left me pretty tired actually trying to go to bed at uh, a reasonable time like around 10 or so it's such a hard thing for me waking up's not really the problem it's um it's going to sleep. That's always that always proves difficult for me. Uh, I just have a, I don't know, have a hard time going to sleep. I guess too much caffeine or too many drinks or what is going on here? These guys. I built all these sca all the scaffolding for them and they don't really use them correctly. Still not entirely sure. I think I am going to extend this wall over to here. And take out this, um, take out this part of this wall, anyway. Another goblin has been spotted. Oh. I was been spotted by Madeline, who is thankfully r moving away. Uh, we'll, we'll, I, I'm not really worried about, uh, goblins so much. We've had a, uh, quite a number of them show up, uh, right now so let's just uh, get these bodies taken care of the bodies hit the floor the bodies hit the floor yeah okay enough of that so this is coming along nicely need to oh another goblin let's uh, let's watch him get wrecked really quick and down <laughs> did he take wow Nicole, did you take that guy out in one hit? <laughs> I think she did. It's amazing. Man, these guys are, uh, what level are you? 14. I don't think I have any level 20 infantry yet. I think my highest level is, uh, oh, one guard. We've had him, had him for quite a while. He's been around here a bit. Uh, he's, uh, 17. Thomas is 16. Cole's 14, the rest are like 13, 12. Well, okay, that, that's that's reasonable. I wonder if I want to dig this whole thing out yet. I think I want to wait until I continue building the stairs. Just speaking of which, I kind of want to put more scaffolding up before I progress another level. So, well... I think I might want to go just one more level. Let's see. So, um, yeah, something like that should work for now. We can go around the side. Let's uh, put up some more walls. Castle Brick. Let's go ahead and cover this. Actually, is this is this all going to be open inside here? I don't even know if I need this doorway right here even. Hmm. I think I might end up getting rid of that actually. Let's uh let's actually just get rid of this. I don't think I need need this here particularly. I'm going to put some railings in. Maybe I should go ahead and put the railings in. Wow, well, just to see just kind of get a idea of what it's going to look like. 
Alright, we go to Umber Brick here. Let's just go. Hmm. Go up one. Just literally stair step it. Like you. Are they stuck? Oh my god, they're stuck. Are you kidding me right now? These guys. I really didn't think they would get I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. They would get stuck. Why would they not get stuck? Tell me. Why would why would this not be a thing that happened? Mm, okay, let's try to What the heck? <laughs> Alright, so Clarice has apparently learned how to levitate <laughs> in midair, so that's great. Quite a trick there. You should uh, take that show on the road. Okay, let's go. I wonder if they can actually get down to that or not. Uh, hopefully that will be enough. Let's go one more out just to be safe. And then we can put up more scaffolding along this uh, well, let's go ahead and put the next layer of uh, wall in, I guess. While we're working on it. Oh, God, this camera, man. I wish the scroll part was just a little less sensitive. Like, it goes from out here all the way in here. There seems to be a way to be... I know there's buttons to zoom in you can use. Which I usually just use the mouse wheel. Maybe there's a better way to do that. Probably. Go ahead, put one more layer here. And then we'll go switch to the umber brick to get the little the little doodads on the outside. Yeah, so have been looking at um, you know, more games that are coming out. Um one game I just uh, sort of discovered was this one game called... It's coming out on Steam July 26th. 6th? 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 26th. Anyway. Ugh. Ugh. I, the 26th. This, 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 this game called... Uh, we Happy Few. And it has... Uh, an, uh, so... It is. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> uh, if I can collect my thoughts for a second, let me. It's 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 got a uh, like sort of a Art Deco futuristic retro kind of look, kind of similar. It's very similar actually to um, what. Uh, uh, oh my God! Uh, da, ba, ba, ba. Why can't I? Uh, 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 Bioshock. Yes, Bio <laughs> Bioshock. It's a very similar kind of uh, feel as Bioshock, uh, or is the look at it, look of it, the the man? I cannot talk. What is going on? Um, actually, pause. I just realized I don't actually want there to be wall right here, because that's where the stairs are going to continue. Doesn't really matter. Oh, nope. Come on. Come on. It's so hard to do it when the ground's so far below. There we go. But, uh, ooh, we're down on storage. Metals, really? We have so many metals now, it's crazy. I should probably, uh, up my, um, bars here. Just to get more bars. Oh my god, we have 110 scrap metal? Jeez. Alright, let's make some, let's make about 50 ingots out of that. How much copper do we have? Let's make about 30 copper. No, not 300. 30. Uh, iron, we could probably make 11. Do we want to make it with this stuff? We have a lot of tin. Maybe when the... Maybe. We have to think about that one. And Mithril, we have none. 
And we have a bunch of coal, though, but I'm not really worried about that. Maybe just to get rid of some space, we'll make uh, maybe 20. Sounds like a good, good solid number. See, do we have anything for making coin? We have no gold. Oh, wow, we do have a lot of silver. I had no idea we had that much silver. Wow. Okay, uh, let's make some, let's make some gold, or not gold, uh, silver coins. I'm not sure. So it takes, does it take four of these to make one coin? If that's the case, then we need to make, oh, math. Let's just make like 30. Start with 30. Not 300, nope, not 300 again, just 30. 300 is a good movie, but we don't need that many coins. And apparently it wants me to make 32. But, uh, still hay, man. I, why, why are we still making so much hay? Like, I have turned off the hay production, I thought. And we're still getting hay somehow. Or not hay, wheat. Same thing, really, I suppose. So I don't know what the deal with that is. I guess we have to have some wheat. Just, just don't use that much of it, I guess. So it just grows over time. I guess we could put in another hay bale somewhere. Real quick. Let's go to objects, storage, and wheat. Hay. Alright. And metals. I think this should take care of the metals because it will reduce the mass, I think. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Does this number go down as he makes something? Let's see. Let's watch. No, it actually goes... No, it goes up and then goes down. Weird. But it seems to be decreasing as that happens. Which is good. Alright, so we don't have to actually make more metal storage at this point. What are you guys doing? You guys just... Goofballing around? guys are stuck still. Oh, wait. I'm, wait, hold on. Oh, I know what happened. They're trying to get up to here, and I I blocked them off. All right, so, okay. That's my bad. <laughs> this one's on me. This is my fault. Uh, all right, there. That should be... That should do it. So, yeah, so there's this game called uh, We Happy Few, and it's, uh, it's actually... It looks... has, like, that Art Deco futuristic style from, like, the 60s. Kind of similar to Mass Effect, and but it's a completely different like it's by a different company, uh, Compulsion Games, and it's uh, like a it's a procedurally generated roguelike type deal, um, you know, kind of like uh, along the lines of like you know FTL or Binding of Isaac type type setup. Uh, we are actually not taking any more immigrants, so sorry. Bryce or whatever your name was. Uh, we have we have two blacksmiths now. I don't feel like we need any more. Okay, so this scaffolding's in. Can she actually get out yet? I don't think so. No, she can. Katrin, get down. Get down, Katrin. I don't actually know if she can get down from there. I don't think she can. I think that's too high, like two blocks high or something. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get it some walls out. So yeah, so we happy few. It's like some like dystopian alternate timeline type deal, and all of the. I don't know if they can even reach that right there. And everyone in this sort of weird society has apparently become obsessed with, like, happiness. Like, just being happy all the time. And they take this uh, drug called joy that makes them artificially happy. And, like, they see the world in, you know, ro rose-colored glasses. And, uh, and it has an unfortunate side effect of making them... Like, I guess making them all psychotic or something. But if, uh, if you, if someone stops taking the medication and they, and they're not happy, they're called a downer. 
and then everyone will attack you and try to kill you or like force you to take more joy and so you're not a downer anymore that kind of thing and uh... yeah it's, it's uh... and you have to so basically your character has decided to stop taking joy and they decide they want to try to escape from this uh... you know terrible place oh. And you have to go through like different levels. They call them islands. That are each different, but procedurally generated each time. And uh, I don't. But they. Uh, there's not. Yeah, you can die, but I, it's not like it's not like perma death. I think you just respawn or whatever. I'm not sure how it works, but it looks pretty interesting, and I, I might try that out as a series. I'm not sure what the price of it is though. And it looks more probably probably more like a $40 game or something if I were to guess I don't know the Steam site didn't really give a price not one that I saw anyway but uh yep yeah. it looks pretty neat I'm gonna try to check that out along with a bunch of other titles uh, speaking of procedurally procedurally generated games that I would like to try uh, there's another one called your deal, Mr. Person. There's another one called uh, Necropolis that is also a procedurally generated roguelite game with a combat system intended to be uh, reminiscent of uh, sort of um, let's make a little I want to put a little column here. So let's make an opening put in some more umber. I really like umber brick. I don't know, I've said this before, but this is probably my favorite um, block pipe. It just looks really nice. But uh, yeah, so Necropolis, it's like got, uh, it's got Dark Soul style combat. It's like sword and, uh, sword and shield style combat. And it's like uh, this like big underground labyrinth place and you go each level takes you down and you have to get out they want to get out you have to go to the bottom kind of like in um, this game uh, I don't know if I actually release it yet by the time I release this video but I'm going to be doing I either am doing or going to be doing um, Legend of Grimrock which has been out for a while but it's a game I really want to play it's got really good reviews and I'm doing a series on that. I've actually recorded a bunch of, as of now. And I'll probably record some later. Uh, that's also... That's not procedurally generated. Um, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, so Necropolis. Look that up. That's also on Steam. That should be coming out pretty soon. Um, if it's not out already. It might... I know it's coming out in July sometime. I think. But that's also one I would definitely like to do a series on. Um, it looks really neat. It's got a really kind of... It doesn't have the same style as a uh, sort of art style goes. It's really kind of... I mean, it's also dark, but it's more um, sort of cartoony. It kind of reminds me... It's like a really sort of dark uh, Zelda-looking type thing, which uh, has me excited. You know, this is too over here. Wondering, I shouldn't do the same over here on this other side. Which I kind of just put it in the middle. Hmm. Let's do this little bottom bit right here, real quick. So yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of Zelda. Like a lot of Zelda, like the Link to the Past mostly, and other the other, um, not so many of the newer Zelda games. Um, no real reason, I just, well, I haven't played the newer ones because I don't have like a Wii U or anything like that. Uh, so there's that. I have played a few of the handheld versions.
pretty fun. So that's a good game. Yeah, but it kind of has that similar art feel, but it's more dark. If uh, that makes any sense. I mean, I'm sure it w does make sense. I don't know why that, that wouldn't be a thing that makes sense, but there you go. In case it doesn't, I don't know why saying that would make it a difference, but, you know. Okay, so they've gotten this taken care of. Go ahead and get rid of this scaffolding here. And I think I would like to put an uh, umber brick archway right here. I don't know if they can reach it. I hope they can. Uh, we'll see. Might just have to put a piece of scaffolding. I keep saying that funny, don't I? Scaffolding. Like I have to put the emphasis <laughs> where it doesn't really need one. Scaffolding. Right here. And I think we'll go ahead and work on the next, plan out the next uh, uh, tier of stairs. Tier of stairs. Tier of stairs. Man, it's such a, sounds so weird to my ears. It's when I say things like that, English is such a strange language, I feel. The only language I really know, and it's such a it's such a weird one. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know about this English. <laughs> it's such a weird, janky language. Like especially when you start learning about other languages. Ugh. Anyway, I could I could talk about that for quite some time, <laughs> to be honest. All right, guys. So um, thank you so much for watching. Oh wait, is this going to be? I don't know if I need to take these out. I definitely need to take the inner ones out. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Timber and Stone. I am Adamu. Goodbye.